Good day to you, Harold. There you are, Solus. Come on, we must talk, sir. The Chosen of Andraste. A blessed hero sent to save us all. <laughs> I'm not a hero. I've no interest in being a hero. All I want is to find a way to seal this breach. Pragmatic, but ultimately irrelevant. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. Hmm. So you study ancient ruins? What do you mean, ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. Huh. How do you sleep there? You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. impressive. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. True. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate mage surrounded by Chantry forces, and unlike you, I do not have a divine mark protecting me. Cassandra has been accommodated. But you understand my caution. Yeah. Don't worry. Cassandra will protect you. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. Any more to talk about? So let's come back. I want to talk more. Also, you should probably put some shoes on. It's kind of cold. Closing the bridge is our primary goal. But I hope we might also discover what was used to create it. Any artifact of such power is dangerous. The destruction of the Conclave proves that much. You think it survived? You don't think whatever created the explosion was destroyed in the blast? You survived, did you not? True. The artifact that created the breach is unlike anything seen in this age. I will not believe it destroyed until I see the shattered fragments with my own eyes. Okay. I agree. We would do well to try to recover whatever created the breach. Liliana's people have scoured the area near the blast and found nothing. Whatever the artifact was, it is no longer there. Mm. In any case, did you need me for anything? Uh, just wanted to talk. Uh, tell you about elves. I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. I thought you'd be more interested in sharing your opinions of elven culture. You are Dalish, are you not? Um... Why well, are you angry? What's your problem with the Dalish? Allergic to Hala? They are children acting out stories misheard and repeated wrongly a thousand times. Oh, but you know the truth, right? While they pass on stories, mangling details, I walk the fade. I have seen things they have not. Um... You're trying. Irabellus, Haren. If the Dalish have done you a disservice, I would make that right. What course would you set for them that is better than what they know now? You are right, of course. The fault is mine, for expecting what the Dalish could never truly accomplish. Irabellus, Stalin. If I can offer any understanding, you have but to ask. Okay. Uh, ancient elves. I'd like to know more about the elves from before our time. The Dalish strive to remember Halam Shiral. But Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Elvenan was the empire. And Arlathan, its greatest city. Place of magic and beauty. Lost to time. What else? You've studied ancient elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? We hear stories of them living in trees, 
and imagine wooden ramps or Dalish air bells. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches, palaces floating among the clouds. Imagine beings who lived forever, for whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. Hmm. Are all Dalish elves like my clan? No. Your clan was unique in having enough interest in human affairs to send you to spy upon the Divine's meeting. As your clans have been separate for so long, they have all changed, adapting to the lands in which they live. Some are no more than bandits, others trade freely with humans, and some have disappeared entirely into the forests. Mm. What can you tell me about elves living in human cities? The culture in alienages or among the slaves of the winter is like any of the impoverished and powerless. They cling to memories of a better past and practice a few rituals to distinguish themselves from humans. Huh. And magic? Is the magic they teach in the circle different from the magic I learned with my people? No and yes. Magic is magic, just as water is water, but it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical, not needing Chantry approval. Although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Understandable. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. Huh. The legends of elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes would linger for centuries, harmonizing with new magic in an unending symphony. It must have been beautiful. You said that the censure against blood magic was a superstition. I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinta disapproves of it. But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. Hmm. Well, I have issues with blood magic. Mm. Every time I've seen blood magic used, it's been for some evil purpose. I once saw a woman stabbed in the stomach with a dagger. She died slowly, in agony. It was repulsive. If the Chantry outlawed daggers, would that stop people from using them? Of course not. Some would use daggers in secret, ashamed, and some would find rebellion titillating, step down the path of depravity. Huh. That's where it doesn't really work. You don't need to sacrifice a slave's life to make a dagger. I suppose it depends upon the dagger. How many men have you killed while fighting for the Inquisition? How many more will you kill out of necessity? And if blood magic could help you? Well, it matters little to me. I do not use it, but I do not think it evil. All right, bye. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Well, okay. Let me just check out the rest of this place, and then I guess I'll go talk to Cassandra Good and Liliana. Good day to you, Because I'm assuming there's more to this place than what I'm seeing. Like, oop, there's something over here! The Quartermaster, correct? awake and out of Lady Cassandra's clutches. Hello. And I slipped that uh, young elven lass good coin to tell me when you came back to us. No matter, no matter. Segret, honored to meet you. Thank you for all you've done, and hopefully will still do. Such as... What do you think I'll be doing, exactly? Word's already spreading that if anyone could close that blighted thing in the sky, it's you. Anything you need is yours. For a reasonable price, of course. Supplies are a little tight, given the circumstances. Okay. Why have you stayed? What kind of person stays to run a shop at a time like this? The kind with nowhere else to go. Those blasted demons destroy most of my goods. If I stay here, work some contacts, I can start rebuilding. Maybe, just maybe, help you folks out in the process. How's the mood here? You must speak with most everyone here. How are people doing? 
Hope and fear in equal measure. No one really knows what it means when an inquisition is called. Yet. I imagine it's no better for you. You've got my sympathies, for what it's worth. Okay. Well, what do you got? Can I see what you have for sale? Of course. My wares are at the table. No, oh, so I have to click on this instead. Okay. It doesn't really look like there's anything of great interest for me right now. Probably do that off screen. Is there anything over this way? Besides a beat up catapult? Can I open this chest? Hmm. I got a schematics. More loot. Ooh, a dragonling scale and fennec fur. Wonder what that'll be used for. No, it doesn't look like there's anything see great. Why we need to build siege equipment. They're not laying siege for anything. This is huge. <laughs> Look at them train. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. See anything else on this map while I'm looking? Let's see here. Well, that's where the Chantry is. Well, there's quite a few places to go, huh? Are you the blacksmith? We're fine, thank you. Expected you'd be by. I'm Harrod, and everyone knows who you are. How's the new gear fit? Um, quite well. Sturdy and warm. It's perfect. Good. World's gone mad. Stock armor and blades are good against bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. So, you need custom work. Something special. You bring the materials to us, we'll make it happen. You got it. So what's your story? How did you come to be here? Come from a little town called Lothry. Long gone now. I was in Redcliffe when the Darkspawn hit it during the Blight. Helped rebuild. Left when Rorty decided it was time to hand the place over to the bloody mages. Ended up here. Just missed the boom. Can't decide if I'm the luckiest son of a bitch walking or the exact opposite. Hmm. Probably lucky. You're still walking. That's always good. True enough. Hmm. Well, you were originally from Lothering. Did you know Hawk? Who outfits the Inquisition's soldiers? Not me. I've got work to do. Can't be passing a sword to every blighter who signs up. If you want to help the troops, talk to Thren, the quartermaster. She'll set up requisitions. Okay. We. Well, you... I need materials. Does the Inquisition not have supplies to make armor or weapons? Tough convincing traders to haul up here. Impossible to get them to risk the rare stuff, so that's on you. Okay. Anything else? What can you make? What can you and your team make here? Arms and armor. We work iron to blighted dragon bone, if you've got it. Our designs are simple, but they get the job done. You want something fancy, bring your own design. We'll see what we can do. Okay. What can you do for my equipment? Can you help improve my arms and armor? 
Yes. You find a new piece, a pauldron or greaves, we'll take care of you. You can't just slap a new hilt on your sword in the field. Bring it here, we'll make sure it's done right and proper. Okay. Any designs? If I want something, what can you make? Start simple. Something to keep you safe. Take a look at it on the table there and we can talk. You'll need materials. We should have what you want just outside. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right. Hey, at least we finally found the blacksmith. See, bringing item adds the upgrade stats to the item stats in addition to changing its appearance. Nice. So if I wanted to, I could change the look. Yeah. Oh, so it's kind of like. So it's kind of like um. Another time. It's kind of like with Mass Effect, where you were able to change the look and design of Commander Shepard's armor. That's pretty cool. You need something? Let me know. Yep. And I think it's everyone in this uh, vicinity. I right, checked out the merchant. Let's see. Those are quests. Um, I think that's everything I can do here at the moment, apart from talk to Cassandra. Ooh! There's a Nug! Hey, Nug! I'm surprised you guys are wandering around outside the deep roads. I hope that's not Schmooples. Whatever happened to Schmooples? Ooh, pretty. Just incredibly pretty. Spend forever just wandering around, looking at the atmosphere, at the setting, talking to random people. But that's not what we're here for. We have an inquisition to fulfill. We have a world to save. And I just walked right through that man. So, I'd say it's about time we talk with Cassandra. So we're heretics, just like that. Should we surrender? Does it trouble you? What, my mark? I don't even know. <laughs> um... Um... Where does it come from? I just wish I knew what it was, or how I got it. We will find out. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. True. You've given us time. And Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the Mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Hmm. Do you have an idea? Clearly, you have something in mind. We do.
May I present Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's Ooh, forces. Cullen, you got hot. Such as they are. We lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Hello. Anderan Atishan. You speak Elven. You've just heard the entirety of it, I'm afraid. Ah. And of course, you know Sister Leliana. Of course. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yeah. Yes. Tactfully <laughs> put, Cassandra. Yes. Very impressive titles. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Yep. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. Mm. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. Well, of course. They still think I did it, don't they? They still think I'm guilty. That is not the entirety of it any longer. Some are calling you, a Dalish elf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. I'm sorry. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. No doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the mages or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Also, I can't help but notice that you have a clipboard with a candle on it. Not very practical if that wax starts to melt really fast. Alright. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading. Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? <laughs> um... I'm not really sure what I think about it, I guess. I'm not sure how I should feel. <laughs> the Chantry has decided that for you, it seems. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. Hmm. It's funny, Liliana, Liliana sounds a bit skeptical. It's like, dude, you had that dream vision thing about the blight, and you're finding this questionable? Um... Will the Chantry attack us? With what? They have only words at their disposal. And yet, they may bury us with them. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far, and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. Hmm. Yeah, why would she help us? Why would someone from the Chantry help a declared heretic? I understand she's a reasonable thought. Perhaps she does not agree with her sisters. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Oh yeah, I heard about Look her. Look for outside. other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. Fair enough. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. Fair enough. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Okay. War table. Allows you to apply the power of the Inquisition throughout our lay in Ferelden. Well, the Giselles in the Hinterlands will be found on the Ferelden side of the table. Very well. War table. Perform scouting operation for the Hinterlands. Okay. Scout the Hinterlands. You will... Well, the other two are, lo are locked, so we'll go with that one. Oh 
By the way, I like the fact that all the ravens have mohawks. Oh boy. Alright, what have we got? We avoided the fighting as best we could. It's every bit as bad as we'd feared. The apostates are mad, attacking anything that moves, and it appears that the Templars here aren't following anyone's orders any longer. We locate Mother Giselle and are trying to protect her, but she refuses to leave the refugees until we've ensured their safety. That'll be hard to do without troops to push the apostates and Templars out of the area. Commander Cullen asked me to make inquiries of Master Dennett, a retired horse master of Redcliffe, who lives in the area. We tried to contact him about obtaining better horses for the Inquisition, but we've been unable to get through the fighting. Lead Scout Harding. Alright. I'd like to gather your party and venture to the Pinterlands now. Why, well, yes. Alright. We got Beric, we have Cassandra, and we have Silas, because they're the only characters in this party at this current point. Of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's odd for a Dalish elf to care what happens to anyone else, but you'll get no backtalk here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding in a. No. <laughs> Derek. <Never mind>. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> oh, we already know you have the hot for Cassandra. I totally ship you two. All right, well, pleased to meet you. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here. And people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Thank you for the report. All right. And this therein is where I am completely and utterly blind. I don't know what to expect after this. So, yeah. Fun.